it's not a game, it's a rich thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the show a little bit off on these. Yeah, yeah. But these these are the, the fresh, freshly uh, ported and polished uh, heads from from uh, Hooper Hooper heads, right? Yes, sir. Hooper heads right here in Houston, Texas. Um, they're these, stock. They're, they're Houston stock. He, right, exactly. Right <laughs> there, you go. Houston stock. Yeah. They're Houston stock. So so these have already. You said they already installed the the, the spring, double springs. The double springs. Put the new valve seals. The titanium retainer on it. So this was a um, a Texas Speed. Spring? Texas Speed Spring Kit. Correct. Yeah, which which is is matched with the cam, right? Correct. Okay, right. Okay, cool. Yeah. So th tell me a little bit about what they what they did at, at Hooper. What uh, Hooper? He he will basically go through the whole process. He has a very nice uh, setup that he does for specific for LSA heads, mm -hmm. um, where he ports the chambers. As you can see, the chambers, the the combustion chamber has been, you know, the bowls have been worked. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're you can see where they, they've been uh, opened out. Right. Um, he also goes in and let me just give you a little bit of, of light here. Uh, you can see he opens up the intake side. If you notice the intake side from the LSA head and an, a stock LS3 head, this is way bigger. Okay. This thing is way bigger. Right. And the nice thing about the LSA heads is since they have a little bit of extra material, you can cut them open a lot more. Oh, I see. So you can open them up and, and, and really get the power out of them. Mm -hmm. And he works the intake side. He does the combustion chambers. And he also does, he'll uh, mill the head and he does the exhaust side. So it's a completely worked head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now let me ask you a question. So when I take these home, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just get some... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay everything out on the table and I'm gonna shoot a video in my in my garage. Mm -hmm. um, as far as caring for these, is there anything that I need to be mindful of? Um, the biggest thing I, I would say is plastic, just right? yeah, keep them keep them out of humidity so they don't start because you'll start to create rust on, on your valves and stuff. Right. And I mean that's really the biggest thing. You know he right. he checked all the valves, made sure none of them were burnt, made sure no, nothing's bent. Um, you know that's another thing that he does. He he does a valve job for. Him. So, I mean, they, they've been completely reworked. They got hot tanked, cleaned out, made sure there's no shavings or anything inside of them because you never know what happened to the original motor they came off of. Right, so, right. Just a safety precaution to make sure that we don't get no damage. Yep. And then he, then he stamps them here. And he stamps them. It's like etching or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I've been talking to him about uh, maybe adding a little small uh, detail for our shop here every time I take him a set of heads. Yeah, because it seems like you, you definitely... He's definitely like your preferred vendor. Seems like yeah, most definitely. I I, I like to stick with uh, uh, you know, some of the local people. Uh, they're small shops, but I mean, we're all trying to, you know, trying to make it. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to support your local business, and I mean, his work speaks for itself. And we've dynoed it. It's been dynoed. A a buddy of mine over uh, at a, a HPF mm -hmm. a horsepower factory. Yeah. My buddy Caesar. Uh, he actually had a set of heads done by Hooper. And uh, he gained 100 horsepower to the wheels by getting his heads. Damn. Yeah, by getting the uh, important polish job done by Hooper. So, I mean, his work speaks for itself. I stand behind his job. Absolutely. That's dope. That's dope. And this is another this is a set of LS3 heads we got done as well. Oh, this was, this was the other set that yeah. you, you picked up? This is without the... Uh, with the, without the valve spring, I still got to put the valve spring. Oh, right, right, okay, yeah. yeah. As you can see, the see, this is what I'm talking about here. Look at the size in the in the ports. Oh, the difference. In, yeah, look at the size oh, no difference. shit, yeah, you're right. Look at the size difference in your heads and the, the, these LS3 heads. And these have been opened up. They're not stock. Wow, and it's still, and like, it's still bigger. It's massive yeah, compared to still the bigger. LS3 heads. That's, that's a, wow, that's a pretty cool yeah. comparison. These heads... Your LSA heads, if you were to port and polish your supercharger, pulley it, and do the supporting mods, it's a, it's a thousand horsepower capable. 
Wow. Yeah, most definitely. It's a thousand horsepower capable. Okay. So if anybody's planning on trying that Camaro, that uh, Monte Carlo, <laughs> I might want to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I might want to be yeah, careful. Yeah, you might want to be careful. Y'all might bite off a little more than y'all can chew. I'm not really a racer, but if with this, with all this power under my foot, who knows? I might, <laughs> I might, I may turn myself into a racer. It gets tempting, man. It gets tempting. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, it's a completely different feeling to have that much power under your control. Mm -hmm. It's. You'll feel the difference, you know. Yeah. You're going to be like, holy. And then the biggest thing is that that car has no ABS. It doesn't have anything like these new cars. So right. it's just you and the power, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. However you control it, whatever you can do, that's what it's going to be. Yep.